Also new tonight, a man police say robbed the same store twice and was at the center of an eight-hour-long standoff is in custody tonight. And that man, according to police, had only recently been released from prison. WLKY's Lauren Adams joins us now with more on this. Lauren? Good evening to you, Rick. Tonight, 48-year-old Larry Rose is back behind bars facing two robbery charges. Police say it wasn't hard to locate him, but it was difficult getting him to cooperate. It was so many police cars, I don't know how many it was. And Valda Thomas didn't know why the officers were there either. Beginning at 8 Thursday morning, they had sectioned off entire blocks of her neighborhood, concentrating on a home in the 10900 block of Waycross Avenue. Hillview police say it was this blue sedan parked in the driveway that first caught an officer's attention. Police say it's the same car that had been driven by a man that robbed the Save a Stop market early Wednesday morning and then again Thursday. But it's that second robbery, police say, that provided a break in the case. Yesterday, we were able to obtain three numbers on the uh, license plate. And then today, when he did the robbery, they were able to give us the rest of the numbers on the license plate. Following Thursday's robbery, police say 48-year-old Larry Rose had driven home, parked the car in his driveway, and then refused to come out. LMPD SWAT unit will be called out to assist, and neighbors like Valda Thomas are told to leave the area. But just moments before, she caught a glimpse of her neighbor. A police robot had revealed he was in the attic. That's when police began tearing off sections of the home. We saw his head, you know, because when you look at it, it's so dark up there, you could see his head moving. Police will see him too, but only briefly, and then the wait continues. So too to failed efforts at communication. He would not respond, so uh, eventually the Metro SWAT entered the residence and they found him in a cabinet in the kitchen. So eight hours after police first arrived, they are finally ready to leave, and neighbors like Thomas are grateful for the job they've done. And we were all out there just clapping for him, you know, great job. They did it wonderful. Now, Rick, Vicki, we do know Rose robbed the Save a Stop market at Knife Point, according to police, and got away with cash both times. While police can't comment specifically on what they recovered from his home, they will tell me tonight they did take evidence. I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News.